Hey everybody. Today I wanted to walk you through an app called Pixel Studio. Right here, the PS. Uh, sometimes it has like a little anime character uh, as the icon. Uh, it is free for, for iPads. Um, it's free for Mac and Android devices. So everybody can use it. You can put it on an iPad. You can put it on your phone too. Um, so it's, it's really easy to use. I've used it a lot with third graders in the past. And we have focused on layering space. Uh, last year we looked at, um, we created chalk pastel landscapes and then we did the same thing the next week. Uh, created landscapes but with this pixel art app because I wanted kids to see that you could create 3D space with uh, digital technology and something that looks a little bit more abstract. So when we did that project we focused on overlapping. Uh, we focused on 3D volume by adding a little shadow and we talked about background, middle ground, and foreground. If you're doing this with a younger set you could simply uh, scale it back to character and setting. You could make them um, have a, a character in some kind of background setting landscape. So just want to walk you through it real quick. Uh, so this is one of the blank screens, but let's say if you want to create, you've got your toolbar down here, you've got your colors up here. If I hit the three bars right here, it's going to say, do I want to create something new? I could save it, get all this jazz. Um, it's great for animations as well as still images, but I'll do a still image today. Do you want to save it? No. So once you get your this up, uh, you can choose 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64, and so on. Uh, but you can also change it too. They don't have to be square. You can have a transparent background or you can do a white or a black background. And when you're ready, you hit create. So when I do it with my students, I encourage them to do the background first, kind of like a sky and clouds. So if you want to fill a color in the background, right right now I'm using the, the drawing tool so I can, I can draw. I'm going to switch to a, a color right here. Uh, so I'm going to hit undo, get rid of that. So I can draw with a pixel. If I want to undo and if I want to just do a solid color, I can use the paint bucket. And I can tap it and boom, now it's a solid color, right? So either way, if you want to get out of the paint bucket, you have to hit the, the pencil tool. That's going to disengage that. There's also a paintbrush tool and you can adjust how, how big a stroke you're making with the pixels. You can see now it's uh, six pixels. It goes up to 10 or 20. I'm going to pull that back get rid of the paint. Okay, so let's say I want to put some clouds in there. So I can go ahead and tap on white, and I encourage my students to use uh, larger uh, shapes in the front. If they're looking up at the sky, they're going to see that the, the larger clouds are higher up, uh, further away from the horizon, and smaller clouds are closer to the horizon. So that's kind of what I did right there. If I want to make the clouds look a little bit more 3D, I can go ahead. just want to see something real quick. Nope. Go back. <clears throat> and if I want to add a color, I can change the color. I'm going to create a color here. So I just tapped on one of those. I'm going to make a color. And you can see how the color changes right there. I just wanted to do something that was a little different, not in the, the blues. And so when I do it, I'm going to hit select. So now I can go in and I can add shadows to parts of those clouds in order to make them look a little bit more volumetric, boom, 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 and so forth, all right? So just giving them a little bit of volume, a little bit of shadow, all right? So simple background. If I wanted to create a different layer, now I can go down here to the, the three layer tool, and I'm going to go ahead and hit plus, all right? So now I'm just working on this next layer. So I want to think about uh, maybe I put a ground in there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this so it's out of the way. So draw a ground. All right, think about what I want to see in there. All right, maybe I want to see a couple simple uh, mountains. We talk about overlapping. I'm going to go into that paint bucket and bump it up just a few. Three pixels. All right so that now I can lay something in a little easier. 
I'm going to do that. If I want my mountains to look a little bit more 3D, I can go in and add a little bit of shadow on the same side as what I did right there. All right, you can talk about how shadows get a little darker when they get closer to you as well. So I've got that. Now if I want to add one more layer, so I have my foreground, again I go to the layer tool, hit plus, and then I can think about what I want to see. All right. So let's say I'm going to switch to a darker color, and I've got my pixels already there. I'm going to go ahead and minimize it, and maybe I'm just going to see uh, a crooked telephone poles. In the desert, I'm driving through. Got my, and it keeps on going. If I want to make them look a little bit more 3D, go one more step, add those colors, just like that. I've got it. If I want to make a, a ground like the road, add that in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so when you go to save it, so they can access it later or you can access it and, and print it. Instead of hitting save, right, instead of doing this, this is just going to save it to the, um, the app. What we want to do is we want to share it. So if I click on share, change the size, I'm going to go ahead and hit share right there. And it's going to give me these options. And we want to save the image. That's going to save it to your camera roll. Do I want to access your photos? We do. So if I go now into my camera roll, there it is. I have my landscape. All right, so pretty simple. I could add a character in there, anything I like. But that's the, the basics of the, the Pixel Studio app. So something that's easy to use, uh, something that you can get a lot of mileage out of with still images and um, moving images as well. And I'll, I'll go back and I can, I can demonstrate animations at a, at a later date. So give it a try. If anybody runs into any issues or has any questions, uh, give me a shout out at Shine Bright Zamorano. So here are a few examples of the chalk pastel landscapes I was talking about earlier that have a foreground, middle ground, and background, and they were using light and dark chalk and oil pastels in order to create uh, distance and space, as well as overlapping. And then they came back and they created these pixelated landscapes with a partner uh, using the, the same terminology, the same vocabulary, and the, the amount of variety and fun that they had with this pixelated landscape was, was really enjoyable to see, and the results are awesome.